Our ultimate goal is to create an inclusive workplace in the North Carolina National Guard where all personnel feel appreciated, included, and valued. Such inclusion will maximize mission effectiveness. In order to effectively achieve diversity in our organization, we must maintain our foundations of equal employment opportunity and military equal opportunity in order to ensure fairness and inclusion based upon the demographics of our force. We must also be steadfast in our diversity management efforts. This is critical to developing a healthier, smarter, and stronger force. Diversity management will dictate our ability to ensure that all cultures are stakeholders in the leading and managing of our force of tomorrow. These building blocks will no doubt manage the diversity and inclusion of our organization and enhance our ability to lead people and maintain operations in our state, our nation, and around our globe. The benefits of managing diversity and inclusion will ensure that our organization attracts and retains top talent, improves our overall morale, provides a cost savings that leverages our strengths and skills, and develops stronger relationships with our global partners. We have found that in the last 12 years of persistent conflict overseas, the success is predicated in many cases on our ability to understand local cultures in order to develop relationships that best serve the needs of the indigenous population. This methodology can also be used internally within our organization to ensure that the North Carolina National Guard is synchronized with our key campaign plan imperatives. We will do this by identifying efficiencies which allows our force to compete more favorably for those finite future opportunities that are essential to ensuring that we remain the most ready, reliable, responsive and relevant force for our state and our nation. It is also important to realize that leadership involvement is critical at every stage of our diversity efforts. None of these building blocks can be executed unless North Carolina National Guard leadership is committed to the effort. Our subordinate commanders must embrace openness in order to gain a better understanding of diversity through mutual respect. Likewise, our senior leaders must maintain a firm commitment to serve as champions of diversity and force management. Ultimately, leaders at every level must strengthen the knowledge and understanding of individuals in our organization in order to fully realize the benefits of a diverse force. By doing so, our strength, versatility, and efficiency will be amplified, and we will be more effective in understanding the culture and environment where we serve. Our North Carolina National Guard-wide diversity education and training modules are geared towards training the importance of diversity across all levels of command. In fact, selected leaders of these subordinate commands collectively make up the North Carolina National Guard Diversity Council, who work to review current policies and procedures, working towards developing fair and effective life work integration and quality of life policies. Our ongoing efforts have led to strategic alliances with our joint staff, and have helped to recognize and provide incentives for change and commitment and have worked to link these strategies with performance expectations across our total force. We must take into account the cultural climate and the demographic diversity of the various communities of our state so that we are working within the context of local attitudes and beliefs. For example, in order to best execute the Wounded Warrior Initiatives or Exceptional Family Members Program, we must all acquire and maintain a perspective in order to empathize with those who experience these physical, mental, or other limitations. Unfortunately, we do not have enough time today to address how this cultural understanding is necessary to fight and win our nation's war. In this ever-changing world, and especially in the years to come, we must do our best to acknowledge and accept the unique value of all cultures so that we will be able to operate effectively in them. By educating our current generation of senior leaders and the generations of young people entering our organization today, we can positively affect the diversity of our military and our civilian workforce employees 
for the betterment of the people that we lead and serve. The success of our organization and the sustainment of our all-volunteer force depends upon our ability to adapt and make informed decisions as they relate to diversity. And as demographic trends continue to change and evolve, it is important that our force also changes so that we may continue to attract and recruit the best of America's talent across all segments of our population. Our organization composed of air, army, and civilian employees consists of men and women of varying backgrounds, cultures, ideas, and beliefs. And I want you to know that you are all valued members of our team. All of you in our force contribute diversity of thought to our requirements for problem solving, as well as innovation and needed creativity. In time of war, your culture and language backgrounds will help us achieve success in challenging and dynamic operational environments. In all, our organization is constantly looking for ways to leverage these special backgrounds and skills in order to create a better North Carolina National Guard for all of us. Our nation's strength stems from its diversity. The diversity of America should continue to be reflected in all of our personnel and our family members. Our American citizens expect nothing less. Diversity shapes our ability to access, recruit, and retain a high quality and diverse workforce that is absolutely critical to sustaining the North Carolina National Guard through good times and bad. So regardless of the government politics, the private sector competition, the educational, medical, and fitness challenges that permeate our society, our entire force must be able to effectively communicate and interact with each other. So when all is said and done, at the end of the day, if we have been inclusive leaders, we will see our intention increase. We will also see that our subordinates invite their friends, their neighbors, their brothers, and their sisters to consider joining our always ready, ready team. Our nation was founded on the ideal of e pluribus unum. Out of many, we are one. In pursuing this ideal, we must work together because of our differences, not in spite of our differences. We must embrace the human dimension of leadership through investing in and managing our diverse talent, valuing our individuals, and developing culturally competent National Guardsmen, civilians, and family members. In closing, diversity is a leadership strategy. Therefore, I expect that all leaders in the North Carolina National Guard leverage the unique qualities of our force in order to achieve and maintain a diverse environment that is essential to achieving success in any and all missions assigned. Thank you. So really, why is this important? Um, if you look back over history and you're, again you start thinking about all the wars that have been fought previously, and we are in the military, so conflict is at the core of our business. Um, we will learn that conflict in the past has been fought on the physical terrain. You know, those who occupy the high ground or actually have control of the key terrain uh, oftentimes win or have the decided advantages, and therefore they oftentimes win. We have learned through this global war on terrorism that has all transpired since 9-11, that we find ourselves embedded into a culture where we, it's, it's hard for us to discern between combatants and non-combatants. And it's only through our ability to interact with the cultures uh, there that we actually can achieve a degree of success. I mean, let's face it, in most, in most cases we're outnumbered, ten hundreds to one in many cases, in order to be successful, in order to stem the tide of violence and perhaps uh, begin that march towards uh, defined victory as you may, but at least uh, to start making that march towards success, we have to be able to engage culturally. And instead of occupying the key physical terrain, we must occupy the moral high ground. That's the key terrain in the human domain. The conflict will probably be fought over for many generations yet to come. So. This is actually a professional challenge to everybody out there to embrace this culture. It is part of our ability to develop, hone our skills for what we may be called upon to do 
and conflicts in the very near or distant future. Thanks.